Hey everyone and welcome to another Xim tutorial. Today I want to show you what in my opinion are the three biggest mistakes that Xim users do when playing with their Xim. Surprisingly the mistakes are not only done by newcomers but also by a lot of veterans. I'm not entirely sure why so many people are doing these mistakes but hopefully the following video will help you to avoid them. Now the first mistake is about the config settings. I see way too many people who constantly change their settings in order to find the most optimal config values. Obviously optimizing your settings isn't a bad thing, but changing your settings every second or third day is definitely not a good idea. You will not be able to tell if some changes in your config are better or worse if you haven't developed a feeling for your current settings yet. And developing that feeling or better set muscle memory will at least take 1 to 2 weeks. So the correct approach would be to stick to a specific config setup until you are fully accustomed to it. Only after that you will be able to tell if certain adjustments have a positive or negative effect on your gameplay. By the way, it doesn't really matter if the settings you commit to for a week or two are perfect or just average. The only important thing is that you develop a basis you can use to compare and evaluate adjustments with. In my opinion, the best basis you can work on is when using no expert mode or advanced settings for at least a week or two. So basically how the Xim is being shipped to you, I mean there's a reason for why the expert mode is not active by default. After that you can start to experiment with config changes. The second mistake is about the mouse sensitivity. Once again I see way too many people who think that copying the sensitivity of a good player will allow them to become just as good. But to be honest it doesn't work that way. Every human has a different level of dexterity and finding the sensitivity that perfectly matches your dexterity is the key in achieving exceptional mouse accuracy. The chances are very high that the person you want to copy the sensitivity from has a different level of dexterity. So your experience with that sensitivity will most likely not be comparable to the performance of the player you copied the sensitivity from. Now of course you can use aim trainers to work on your dexterity level to improve it, but your first step should always be to find the sensitivity that matches your dexterity level. And after that you can start to train your dexterity. At the end of the video I have linked your sensitivity guide with which you can find your optimal mouse sensitivity. The third and biggest mistake is about the mouse settings. Your Xim is not a PC, yet a lot of people are still using their PC mouse settings with their Xims, which is anything else than optimal. The Xim processes your mouse movements in a much different way than your PC, therefore you should use mouse settings that support your Xim as much as possible. By that I mean you should not use DPI values between 400 and 800 like on PC, but DPI ranges of around 3000 to 4000 to get the best mouse movements. But the DPI settings are not the only important aspect when it comes to mouse settings, your polling rate is equally important. On the PC it's not a big deal if your mouse doesn't send a constant polling rate signal, but for the Xim it makes a big difference to avoid mouse stutter. Therefore you should always use the polling rate that your mouse runs best on. To find that polling rate you can use a benchmark tool such as the Zoe polling rate checker. My glorious model O is doing an excellent job on 1000Hz, pretty much all measured values on the right side are showing 1000Hz. But when I do the same test with my Logitech G502 the results are quite different. As you can see the mouse struggles to send a constant 1000Hz signal. But on 500Hz the Logitech does an excellent job and the signal is very constant again. And by the way every mouse can be different, so your G502 might actually be able to send a constant 1000Hz signal. So make sure that you use the correct mouse settings when playing with your Xim. Only that way you can expect to have the best mouse movements. If you have any questions about your Xim or about this tutorial just ask in the comments down below. Guys if you like this video hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. And for the crazy guys out there you can even support the channel now by becoming a channel member, I'd really really appreciate that. Channel members also get exclusive benefits such as early access to all videos. Also let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorial videos and don't forget to post your own suggestions in the comments down below. But that's about it for this video guys, thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.